in your opinion, it is I, I, 11 years by any standard, by anybody's standard, is a long time to be sitting in a prison and you don't even have your day in court. Before I get to that, he's an American. Your son's 6'2". He's a handsome man. Like, this is a handsome, tall American man. How has he been? You mentioned that he was in solitary confinement 24 hours a day for 19 straight months. How has his stay been? And has he been treated different as far as you know, because he's an American? Has he formed any alliances? Do they speak English? If they don't speak English, has he learned their language? What is what has his stay been like according to him? Oh, he oh he speaks three different languages fluently. Excuse you know, me? He speaks three different languages fluently. He what, speaks he speaks Africana and he speaks one more language that's down there. When I tell you fluently, I mean fluently like me and you are talking right now. You know, the, the kid, like I told you, the kid graduated high school, the kid had a scholarship to school, the kid is far from dumb. He's just like, like I, like I explained to people, I say when we was in court, they was talking in Africana and my son said, can you ask him to speak a little louder? And the judge said, why? It don't make a difference. You don't understand what he's saying. My son looked at the judge and said, no, I understand exactly what he's saying. I speak Africana fluently. And the judge said, okay, speak a little louder. No, his, 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 they, treat him, they treat him, of course, you can look at our treatment. They treat him, they try to say that he think he's better than them, when in reality, the other way around, they feel that they are better than us. You know what I'm saying? So he's been dealing with that from day one. Now I'm, I'm, I'm happy to say, through his due diligence, through his attitude, through his manhood, he's befriended a lot of them because there are things that was going on. They had no law library down there. My son fought for a law library down there. He said, I'm American. I miss. He looked it up. He took them to court. They got a law library. He had no recreation, no music, everything. My son fought for that. You know what I'm saying? So now he's like a, a jailhouse hero to, 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 to the guys that's down there because they didn't know that they were supposed to have these things. And it took him to take him to court for them to get him. You know what I'm saying? Now he has another lawsuit against him for being a solitary confinement for 19 months. So there's so many different things that has to play in the decision with my son being innocent and guilty. And that's why I plead so much to everybody to help me with this because they might find my son guilty for the simple fact that they held him for 11 years. And if they feel like they find him innocent, that he's going to sue him. And now they got an answer for that. So it's so many things that play into a factor when you're in another country. You know what I'm saying? They have porridge in the morning for breakfast. Okay. They have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for lunch. They have porridge again for dinner. That's what my son eats because he's not from there. So if you're from there, your people can bring you food four days out the week. That's what they allow. You know what I'm saying? Or if you're from there, your people can go to Kentucky Fried Chicken and leave it at the gate. My son, once again, is not from there. His fiance comes from a not too well off family. She's from Namibia. She's not too well off. She can't do for him. Whatever I do for him, whatever his mother does for him, we send it on a green card over there. And she's able to go get him some food and stuff. He's been dealing with that. I'm lucky. When I tell you this, Press, I'm lucky to have a son who stands on morals and principles because as much as they try to break him, as much as they tried to break him, his co-defendant tried to break out the jail. His co-defendant got caught up in a gate for 24 hours between the outside and the inside. They turned around and come get my son and throw him in solitary confinement. For what? He said, I didn't go nowhere. I didn't do nothing. But they just trying to break him. They, they used to come and offer him things. Now they don't come and offer him nothing because he won't take the side of what they say. 
They want him to say that he knows his co-defendant do it. My son said, I'm standing on my principles. If that man did not tell me and I was not there, I cannot say what y'all want me to say just so I could go home. And this is on God. This is what this kid explains to me. When he looks at me and I say, yo, you got a child. You need to be home. He'll look me in my eye on the visit and say, dad, that's not what you taught me. That's not what you showed me. And just because I'm here away from everybody, I still have to stand on that because I'm going to have my day. They have to prove that I'm guilty and I know I'm not guilty. And that's why I go so hard, friends, because I know this kid is innocent and I don't want them to railroad him with politics, with money, with America and Africa and um, being black African and this African or it being a white person versus a, I don't want this kid to get caught up in that. And the only way that's going to happen is with power moves, you know what I'm saying, by press, is by some of the bigger people, is by some of the politicians. I admit it, and some of the same celebrities that I might say don't follow to do this or to do that, their influence is so powerful that somebody will pick up the phone and say, what's going on with that kid? We're not talking about a year or two. We're talking 11 years. Yeah, we're talking a very, very long time. I should have asked you this earlier in the interview. Uh, I know you're not with Kevin's mother. Haven't been almost since birth. Where is she fit in this picture? How is she handling it? That is her child. And if you are damn near broke over the fact that your child is in another country being held, you got no real answers. It's been 11 years. I can only imagine a woman who carried this boy for nine straight months, how she must be feeling. Are you and her in contact? What has it been like? I mean, and maybe you don't know the answer to this, but what has her experience been like through this whole process? No, we're, we're in contact. We're in contact, you know, strictly for Kevin. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's our only child. You know what I'm saying? That that That's our only boy. That's not, she don't have a girl. She, you know, that's our only child. So her pain is deep. You know, her pain is deep. Um, she's been hit with what I was hit with, friends. So one of the reasons that I came so hard out is that I was working in corporate America. And corporate America doesn't allow me or wouldn't allow me or wouldn't like me to talk about these type of things, whether it was my personal page, whether it was what, because they don't want to be in bed with a person whose son is this. I've been in trouble. I've been, so she doesn't come out and talk about those things because she is in corporate America. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes people say, yo, I see you going so hard, but I don't never see the mother. And I'm the first to say she's there. You know, she's not well off. She's not a rich person. You know what I'm saying? She helps. She definitely helps. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times if she's not able to help monetary in a big way, she might put that $50 on that green card that I told you is going on down there. You know what I'm saying? If she's there for the lawyer, taxes time is usually when our mid-class people have an extra dollars that's not living from check to check. And she's done that. So she's in pain. Has she been there? No. Have we talked about that? Yes. But me almost getting kidnapped there, and everything is not the safest place. You know what I'm saying? Does it, does it hurt not to see your son in 11 years? I'm pretty sure it does. You know what I'm saying? But what good is it if you go over there and something happens to you and he's still there? You know what I'm saying? Us as men, that's when I believe that that's when a father and a man should take the lead. I might not go with it on a lot of other things as far as the households go, but when it comes to going into dangerous territory like that, that's when I feel like it is the father job and the man job to go handle that. So she's definitely in the picture. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. 
If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.